this is Tim Belay with using WindowsHomeServer.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a motherboard from a Dell 546 computer, how to replace the single core processor with a triple core AMD processor, and how also to install an H50 Corsair sealed cooling unit. Let's get started and see how the build's going to go. After we've made sure that all of the cables have been disconnected from the outside of the unit, the power is off and that we're grounded, we want to disconnect all of the cables from the motherboard. So let's get right into it. The first thing we want to do is disconnect the hard drive cable and the SATA connection cable from the hard drive. There's also a cable connected to the CD and we'll connect that. Now depending on how you want to do it, I would typically leave one cable on and one cable off. That way you know what you need to do. For example, I have my connection cable here for my hard drive that I disconnected, but then I disconnected the CD drive from the motherboard itself. That way you know exactly which one's going to go to which place. I also have a power supply cable up here that I'm going to disconnect. I have my fan unit that I'm going to disconnect. And I finally have my main power disconnect here from my unit. The only other thing that I need to do is make sure that I have checked that all of my other cables have been disconnected, everything else. I still have left my CPU fan connected here because it's connected directly to the motherboard so I don't have to worry about it. I also want to make sure that if I have any existing uh, PCI cards or PCIe cards that those have been disconnected. Currently right now I do not. So what we'll do is we'll just pull all of this out and get it all pretty for replacement. Now you have two options. You can actually pull out the board and everything and leave the CPU intact and then do the change out on the bench or you can pull the CPU out. Uh, to make it a little bit easier to pull the board out so I don't have to mess with it, I'm going to pull the CPU out now. AMD CPUs are very simple. There's a little latch. You flip the latch over and the entire unit comes unplugged. That's all there is to it. You can see there that I have the CPU unit there. We'll replace that. There's a little hook here. We'll replace that in just a few minutes. But again, I just pulled that out with just one simple click of this latch. So we'll put this over on the side. To replace the CPU, you just pop this little lever out. Slide that forward. And now your CPU can come out. Just that simple, the CPU comes out. Now there's a difference between the AMD and the Intel chips, so make sure whatever computer you're working on, you work accordingly. We have some previous videos at usingwindowshomeserver.com that show you how to change out Intel CPUs. But that's all there is to it. I'll clean this up, I'll end up recycling it or giving it away, but this is basically just a single core processor that we have here. I will hold that off to the side. I will latch this back down so we can start later on. And now we're ready. Once you've got the CPU out of the system, what you want to do is you want to locate all of the screws that need to be removed to pull the motherboard off the back of the case. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight that are here. You may have nine, 12, 15, 14, depending on the type of board that you're removing. For this one, I have those that I'm going to remove. So I'll be back in just a minute once I remove the motherboard from the back of the case. Okay, I'm just about to remove the final screw from the motherboard. Final screw, popped it out. And the motherboard should come right out. Now, depending on where you want to do, you want to make sure that you're very careful with the system and that you want to make sure that you don't pull it from any lift point that, that is going to cause issues. Now, also make sure when you've done this that you haven't left any USB connections, which I have, which I should have mentioned earlier. So once I get the board out, I'm going to lift from the CPU mounting unit, just make sure you clear all the wires and that the system comes directly out. OK, 
Okay, so I'm pulling it directly out. So what I was talking about was is that I had the USB connectors that I forgot to remove from earlier. So I had my screw points, I had my SATA connections here, I had my USB connections here. I didn't have any because this is a brand new system. I didn't, well, refurbished system. I didn't have any PCIe, uh, PCIe connections or PCI connections and my IO plate is still there. So now I have everything that I need to remove. You can see that the base plate is on the back and that's the one that I'm gonna remove and replace for my AMD processor. So what we'll do right now is I'll move this case off to the side, lift it up, I'll slide the board underneath, lift it up. And now we have our board. I'll readjust the camera and we'll be right back for the next part of the video. Hey, it's Tim again. Depending on if you're doing an Intel or an AMD CPU installation, there are different brackets that are included with each. This is the back plate and the bracket for the cooler for the Intel chip, and this works for the 775, the 1156, or the 1366. Then we also have the one for the AMD 2.3. Now you can see here, depending on the board you're working at, the holes line up, so it's really easy to see what it's gonna look like afterwards. The plastic piece goes on the back, this will go on the front above the chip, and then when the uh, cooler comes in, it'll come in and twist like that. So it'll actually keep it all down the way we have it. So we've got that ready to go. The board, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove the unit here, and then we're going to pull this actual black mounting plate off this, the motherboard itself. So we'll spend a couple of minutes here. I'll pull all this off, and you're, you'll see exactly what we're going to look at as we do this. So let's go through here. And this will pop off. And now we've pulled off the mounting bracket. Now, as we lift this up, we're actually going to push down. And you'll see here that we actually have the mounting bracket underneath it. And this mounting bracket is not actually a part of the motherboard. The board is now ready to be installed back into the case. I've drilled a couple of holes into the case and I'm going to mount it to the side of my little mobile workbench here. So you'll see how that all works out. But basically right now is we've just got our, our bracket on the back and we're ready to do the installation. So we're going to put the board back into the, the case and then we'll get the H50 mounted up.